Hi, I'm Nikki with Sew My Style. Welcome to the channel and the series on zippers. This is an invisible zipper, like you would use in dressmaking, um, uh, skirts, pants. They sometimes use um, invisible zippers. So enjoy. So here's an invisible zipper. You'll see that there are no exposed teeth on the outside because the fabric gets stitched right up to that point. So when you zip it up, it's invisible. So here are the coils back here. I prefer to call the uh, visible zipper teeth, they're coils because they're not the metal teeth they're, that, um, you know, come together. They're the, a coiled edge. And if you look right there, that's where the, that little seam right there, that's where the needle pierces with the help of the invisible zipper foot. So imagine this is a dress, the back of a dress. And if you take one of my dressmaking classes, you'll see um, the steps it takes to put an invisible zipper in. You want to put it in, you, you'll more, most likely be putting it in before you put the dress pieces together. Like you'll do the back, it has, if it has a back invisible zipper, you'll put, you'll put it in before you even put the dress together, the back to the front. Okay, again, the same idea is there's the tape here that's designed for seam allowance and there's tape here okay so what we're going to do before we get to the machine an invisible zipper is put on just like a jacket zipper where this is the front side of your fabric okay that's why i'm using this print instead of my typical muslin so that you can see the differences and line it up, line the zipper tape up with the very top of the dress. An invisible zipper behaves the same way. Um, if you were to do a neckline or a facing, the facing will stop the zipper so that you can either stitch as far down as here, okay? So you wanna turn the zipper face down. So with this zipper, it's right sides together line the zipper tape edge with the edge of the fabric and pin all the way down. Now once you pin all the way down, first of all one of my rules is there's no such thing as too many pins, particularly if you are not, if you're brand new or just not as experienced in putting in a zipper, pinning the zipper, keeping it in place really ensures that it doesn't shift on you when you're stitching. So after pinning an invisible zipper, lining up the edges, open the zipper. An invisible zipper is stitched on when it's open. So just make sure you've got it lined up and pinned right on the edge. Now let's take a look at the zipper foot again. I know we looked at it earlier, okay? You see those two grooves I think you could see them just like that. See the two grooves there? This is where the coils will fit. Those coils will open up and sit right there so that when the needle hits, it will go exactly where it's supposed to go. So take a look at your zipper foot. If it doesn't look exactly like this, just take a look at it and make sure you understand, okay? And what you wanna do is, um, you want to get past that little plastic part. The foot does not like that little plastic part right there. It it doesn't like it. <laughs> so kind of go past there and you want to open up the coils. This is the old school way we used to put invisible zippers in. We had to open up those coils and hold them all the way down. But this does it for you. And see there's a point right there. And that point will sit right there beside the coil, okay? Lower your needle. Okay, so you can get ready to, and then remove your pins as you go. And you see how it stitches so easily. Take 
take your pens out as you go. As you approach the end, you want to stop. You want to stitch until you can't go anymore. So go right to the edge. So here's the zipper head. And just stitch until you have to stop. I do a little backward stitch. it is right to the edge but it's straight stitching like I say about zippers all the time it is straight stitching so you attach one side one side of the zipper remove your pins as you go and you're done just zip up the zipper you can see it's attached on one side. Lay it down face up. And then just like any other zipper, you want to attach your second edge. So turn your fabric, turn it over, line it up with the top edge. And then you want to pin the other side of the zipper to the right edge of your fabric. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. Once you've pinned the other side, do the same thing. Reach underneath and unzip your zipper all the way down. So now we're going to stitch this side. Now in dressmaking, again, it's really important that the direction you stitched one side, you're going to stitch the other side. So. We're going to stitch all the way down. Sometimes you may feel inclined to do it this way because of this, your fabric is going to be on the left, but you want to stitch your um, zipper in the same direction as you stitch the other side. So both sides will be stitched from top to bottom. This time, your zipper coils are going to be on the other side. Down. come to the end you want to do the same thing after taking your pins out as you go go all the way till you can't go any till you can't stitch any further Here is your right side of your garment, and here's the zipper, and you just want to zip it up. The best part of putting an invisible zipper, seeing how invisible it is. Now, if you pull it like that, you can see the white zipper because it's red fabric, but typically in a dress, you would have a red zipper in red fabric. Okay, so now um, let me show you how to close it up. So you let the bottom seam open from putting in the zipper. And you'll see if you stop stitching at the same point, you've got your stitch right there, okay? On both sides. Now this is where your regular zipper foot will come in handy. Let me show you how I do it. Now I put my regular zipper foot on, and as you can see, it allows me to get very close to a seam. So. There's your seam where you put in the zipper, the invisible zipper, and you're kind of moving the zipper out of the way. It needs to stay closed. So you kind of moving the zipper out of the way. You want to get right beside it. And I'm going to line up my zipper foot right there where I can put my needle right there on that stitch 
and continue down to close up my seam. So I put it in the machine and just look carefully and lower your needle right there where that seam is. Go down and you should have a nice seam allowance, whether it's five eighths or three quarters, based on. And then just keep going, and you'll see. you'll close up the bottom seam. Press. You're going to press your seam open and press along the zipper so you have a nice, smooth finish. There you go. Invisible zipper.